But really, I want to see how uh, what that shot looks like. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Not trying to be difficult. It's just that I catch hell when I get home. <laughs> Please don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. All right. Uh, okay. Let's um, just do reactions first then. And you want me to look at him about like so? Why don't you sit back farther? All right. Okay. Is this better? I think so, yeah. Okay. Uh, then you want me to go ahead with some questions? Yes. Yeah, all right. Okay, quiet, please. Sally, are you more concerned about this picture that people will judge it more harshly simply because you won an Oscar for Norma Ray? What is the best advice you could give any Academy Awards winner? Let this helicopter get back. Okay. You want to come a little to the uh, to your left, to your right one. Yeah, I've got to get that line. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sally, what is the best advice you could give an Academy Awards winner? is that every actress wants to play a hooker. Now that you look back on that mud puddle scene, what comes to mind? Um, as far as this year's Academy Awards, some of the people are saying that Redford and Spacek and De Niro are shoe-ins. Do you see it that way? Do you think Robert Redford, Sissy Spacek, and Robert De Niro are shoe-ins for Oscars this year? How do you see the supporting actor? Who do you think will win supporting actor? What is your best guess for Best Supporting Actress? Who's going to win that? Okay. All right, let's just go with that then. Like a walking raspberry. So I went home and cut all my hair off just because I was angry at my body, I think. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. Okay. We're rolling. You got levels. Close the door, please. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Start your timer. Yeah. Okay. Well, Sally, first of all, it's good to see you here in Miami on a Thank beautiful, you. sunshiny day. Nice to see you. And to talk about back roads because, son of a gun, you've done it again. I have. Great oh performance. My gosh. Thank Great you. Great performance, Sally. Thank you. And that, that's the word of mouth I hear from people who were watching. Oh, gee, how nice. Yeah. How many people did you talk to? Did they all say <laughs> that? <laughs> um, I wonder, though. Have you been more concerned about this movie because it is your first one since you won the Oscar? Not really. No, I, I don't. I think I felt that way for about an hour after I won the award, and then it just kind of passed, and I went back to normal life and just uh, it's my work, and I hope it's good. But if it doesn't work, oh well, I'll try again and uh, hope to get better. What is the best advice you would give to any Academy Award winner? having been through it? Well, the award tarnishes very easily, so you have to have a lot of brass polish around at all times. <laughs> I, there, who knows? I, you see, I don't notice any difference. My life is exactly the same, so I don't know what you'd advise them to do. I mean, what advice about what? The, you know, to, 
I don't know. Life is still the same. I, it, it was like it never happened to me. But when it happened, and the week or month or so after it happened, did you at any time say, gee, I didn't know it was going to be like this, or I didn't anticipate this? No, because I don't remember being there. You know, so I just, I, I faintly remember someone walking up to the stage after I heard my name, and I remember thinking, don't fall down, you'll look really foolish. But that's the only thing that went through my mind. You know, of all the thoughts, that's the one to be lingering on all the way up there. You know, it's, it, at an important time like that, I, I wasn't there. I'm not sure at this time where I was. When I'm 80, maybe I'll feel it, I'll look back and say, oh, I remember, it's such a nice walk up to that place. <laughs> Later on then, did it ever, did you ever say, oh gosh, I should have said this or I meant to say that? Did I say something? When no, I, I mean, there? no, but I, mean, I mean, did I, did I say, did I speak at all? I can't remember. Surely I said something. I wouldn't know because I, I can't remember what I said. I don't remember thinking while I was talking. If I made any sense at all, it was, God was doing it. <laughs> Because I mean, my mouth was just going, and I had no control over my tongue. It just—I had no—I had not a thought in my head. I blanked out. <laughs> it was like another person up there. Um, well, somebody I, must have pushed the right button because you looked great and you sounded great, and it seemed to me you said all the right things. Oh, thank you, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> they should—they should make tapes of it for you all, and yeah, so that, that you'll have be nice. that. Yeah, wonderful moment in your life, and you don't have it. And on I tape. could see it, and then maybe I would feel it. I would, I would cry and carry on and I want, I want, you finally feel it. In this movie, Backroads, you're playing a hooker. Now what is it about hookers that every actress I've ever interviewed has always wanted to play a hooker? Why? Well, number one, this is not a hooker. This girl is a street walker, which I think is probably a rung lower than a hooker because she's even a very good street walker. She just is, well, eh, and she, uh, I mean, I never, you know, went out to find the role of a, of a streetwalker. That just this character uh, intrigued me because of her, the comedic nature of this girl. It's a comedy, and she's her physical being is is comedic, and she life, even though it's supposedly on the lowest rung without any place left to go. Uh, it's it's with a sense of humor and that things are funny and she picks herself up and, and finds hope which is a frightening thing when you feel that what you know best is is destitute or sadness and you kind of say I know this is what I know best I'm gonna stick with this misery leave me alone don't tell me about happiness or hope misery is what I know best I know how to do misery real well and someone reaches down and says I love you you fool get up from there and you slowly kind of say alright please don't drop me halfway down and, that's what the story's about, and that's why I liked it. I never did it because of her profession. It's, it's, it certainly isn't about any sex in it whatsoever. That's her job. You know, we go, you know, you go and you, you put your uniform on, and you go to work. You know, it is nine to five, come home. This was nine to five in the morning. It was nine to five at night till five in the morning, but it's the same thing. Did you talk to any street walkers any time? Because, like when Shirley MacLaine did, Middle of Deuce, she actually went to France and she talked to some of those women and, and spent some time with them. Well, it just, you know, it's just a job. It's just like everybody else. I mean, there were, uh, when we worked in Mobile, there were, um, where we were working, there were a lot of uh, prostitutes that, that, you know, that was their job and that's what we did. We used a lot of them in the film, you know, just as colorful characters because they're colorful characters, you know, and I'd say, why do you dress like that? They'd say, well, you know, we have to tell people what we do. This is our uniform. If I were a nurse, I'd wear white and I'd have a cap on. And then people would know what I did. If they fell down and needed a Band-Aid, I, you know, I would they'd call me. And I wear this and they know what I do. Um, but we didn't, you know, I didn't, this isn't a slice of life about uh, the, the oldest profession. It is about people, you know, you and me and, and everybody. Um, and it's, we just chose that profession because it, it is about hope. It's about getting up. and. Uh, it, that's that's about it for for this girl. She's you, and one step down is th flinging yourself into the ocean. Um, so we really, I didn't, you know, talk to a lot of women and do really 
in-depth studies of their lives. <laughs> okay. How does it look for the Oscar races this year? People are saying that Redford and De Niro and Spacek are shoe-ins. Do you see it that way? I haven't seen any movies this year. I've re I'm just, I don't even know who's, I'm sorry to say I have been working at, I, I'm not even, I don't even know the total list of who's nominated. I've heard of, you know, uh, you know the Ordinary People uh, nominations in Raging Bull, but I haven't seen Raging Bull. I did see Ordinary People and I did see um, a Coal Miner's Daughter because Tommy Lee Jones is in um, Backroads, so I saw that before we did Backroads, but um, I'm, I'm a bad judge. I loved Ordinary People and I loved Coal Miner's Daughter, so they look good to me, but I, I, gee, I haven't seen <laughs> Raging Bull or any of the other films, so. But just in talking with people in the community in, in Hollywood, uh, you don't get a feel for who's going to win? Well, no, I really don't. I honestly can tell you, I really and truly don't. Um, number one, I, I don't talk to many people in Hollywood. I'm, you know, I don't get around. I talk to the kids in the carpool, and they think Xanadu should have won. They can't <laughs> understand what they <laughs> think something's really awry. Um, <laughs> so, you know, they, that's about my, the, the guy at the meat counter, who, you know, probably is for Raging Bull, I don't know. I really don't know. I haven't talked to anybody, and I haven't seen the list. Uh, but I think the best person should win, and I'd vote for that. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, your career is just in great shape because you have a movie coming out with Paul Newman pretty soon, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah. I just finished that film yesterday. Yeah, you feel good about it? I ne I'm the wrong person to ask. I never know. I know about as much about that as I do about the nominations. <laughs> this interview is going to go right. Down. No, I don't know. What I about you know, Newman? I did my working with Newman. Oh, he's he's terrific. He's a wonderful man. Terrific actor. Just a really great experience. But I never know about our work. It just, you know, I I, I sound like a real wishy-washy person, which I am. When I go to, you know, they say, well, how do you like Backroads? I say, well, I. Who knows? I always wait and find out what everyone else feels. And I say what I feel. I ask this person next to me, say, well, how'd you like the film? And they say, well, I don't think it worked. And I say, God, neither do I. And then I ask this person over here, and say, what do you think? I loved it. So did I. It was great, wasn't it? I really am the wrong person to ask, I'm, especially my own films. I, I'm too involved. When Martin Ritz says to you, OK, Sally, that was great, then do you, uh, you, you feel real good and you, and you tend to believe him? Or uh, do you sometimes still wonder? Well, it's not quite, Marty and I work very much together. Um, it's not a, um, it's not a one person, uh, you know, do this and do that. Marty, that's the best, uh, Marty's a wonderful director and one of the things that's so good about him for me is that he, um, he encourages me, he's like applause, and freedom at the same time, so that we're a, a unit, we work together. And if I felt that it, it wasn't there, something's not right, he would say, absolutely, roll it again. I mean, let's roll it again. It's not, um, you know, one person says, that's it, let's move on, and never considers, you know, how did you feel about it? Uh, sometimes Marty will say, I think we got it, I think that's the take, and I'll say, I just, I really don't, think so. And then I think we get down to taste, because if you take, I like take one and he like take three, my taste tends to be a little more emotional and sentimental, and Marty has a tendency to be a little pulled back, so I would say go for the one that the tears are running down the face, and he'll say, no, no, let's, let's pull back a little. So that's like, we, it's taste, but we, we work well in that way, together. Well, obviously, you're a great team, because Norma Ray speaks for itself. Your performance in this one is, I think, just brilliant, Sally. Thank just you. Just brilliant. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you and Paul Newman, although that's not a Martin Ritt picture. No, that's Sidney Pollack. Yeah, but you have then a third project that With you'll With Marty that I'm starting next week. Uh, <laughs> Courage. Oh, Courage. I need a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> Sally, you're delightful. I love visiting with you. Thank you. Best of luck Thank to you. you very Take much. care. Thank you. Airplane going to crash in the water. Okay, let me do one more reverse question. Uh, just add one more, and I'll just. Pardon? No, I'm. Are fine. we okay? Just still okay. Best two All right. Oh, that's what you wanted.
Yeah, okay, back off. Thank you, Danny. Thank you. Sally, did you do any particular homework for this? Because I'm thinking back to Shirley MacLaine when she did Irma La Douce. She went to France and she really talked to some ladies of the evening. Now, did you do any homework like that? Okay, 